Yeah. So um, there's a lot of work that's uh, that got done between, I would say, 1980s, uh, 85 or so, mid 80s to mid 90s. And uh, a lot of the researchers uh, were very interested in happiness, but they were also skeptical as to whether you can really measure it. You know, like you mentioned, money seems much easier to measure. It's quantifiable. Mm-hmm. Happiness seems like a subjective experience. If I say I'm a nine out of 10, is it the same thing as if you say you're a nine out of 10 and so on? So um, they ended up doing these uh, studies in which they measured happiness through what are called self-reports. Basically, the simplest way to measure happiness is to ask people how happy they are, for example, on a 10-point scale. And then they looked at uh, whether those um, measures that people gave are uh, highly correlated with um, other measures, other more quote-unquote objective measures, like, for example, looking at levels of serotonin or dopamine or endorphins in your uh, bloodstream, or cortisol, for that matter, which ought to be negatively correlated with happiness. They also looked at uh, people's self-reports with versus w- what other people that were close to these people um, said about these people's happiness. Uh, let's say I'm, I say I'm a nine, and if you ask my wife uh, how happy is Raj, um, you know, if uh, I'm not pulling a number out of thin air, um, I'm actually kind of you know aware of how happy I am, and I'm. Um, coming up with a number that's actually valid, then you would expect to see a higher correlation between my self-reports of happiness and other people, you know, particularly people who are close to me, their reports of how happy I am. Um, you can also look at brain scans. You can look at certain areas of the brain that tend to get uh, lit up, so to speak. It's, it's more active. There's more blood flowing through to, to those parts of the brain. Certain parts of the brain are more well-developed. The left prefrontal cortex, for example, is more well developed. Um, so, what the researchers ended up concluding is that these self reports are pretty um, valid. Um, they are quite highly correlated um, the, with these more objective measures of happiness uh, than would be the case if they weren't valid. And so, uh, they ended up concluding that uh, the simplest way to measure happiness is also a reliable way to measure happiness. Um, so, that's uh, how you know I go about also uh, doing happiness studies, you know, I just kind of measure happiness. I measure people's moods using relatively standardized but simple measures of happiness.